News Talk 95.1 FM and 790 AM. This is KFOL Mornings, Dave King and Matt Martin. And it is a Thursday. It is 7.35 AM. That can only mean one thing. The Car Pro is online. One good morning, Jerry Reynolds. Good morning, gentlemen. Are we enjoying the fall weather? Mm, yeah. After uh, 100 degree days, the fall weather is very nice. Oh, my goodness. Well, I've been working hard this week, fellas. i got two vehicles to review this week. Uh, and and both, both of them were vehicles that I've been waiting on and needed to review. I don't like doing two in a week typically, but uh, sometimes you got to do it. This week I had the 2019 Volkswagen Ardeon, which is their largest four-door sedan. And I apologize to both of you. I didn't send you pictures till this morning. Uh, but beautiful car. It's uh, it's got some very very unique lines. It's uh, it drives good. It rides well. Uh, probably a little too pricey for what it is. Uh, Forty four thousand on the window sticker. It's got a, a four cylinder turbocharged engine, which creates a bit of a problem because this car's got severe turbo lag which we don't see much anymore. And I was very surprised and very disappointed by it, to be honest. Uh, this is a car I've had a lot of questions on, just, I think, because it is a visibly beautiful car. Um, in fact, on our Facebook page on Monday, I covered the emblem on the grill and took a picture of it and then let people guess what it was. And, man, I had guesses all over the board, BMW, Volvo, uh, you know, a few people got it right, but most people had no idea what this car was. Um, but but if if you can get past the turbo lag issue with this car, it's really, really, really very nice. Uh, the one that I was more excited about, however, is actually an SUV, and it's the 2020 Kia Telluride. It's the first time Kia has built a three-row SUV. And I got to tell you guys, I was absolutely blown away with this with this SUV. It's 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 so nice. Um, the interior is incredible. The, this thing's got everything in the world on it, and the shocker was the price uh, forty six thousand eight hundred dollars on the window sticker. And as I wrote in the review, which will be up uh, tomorrow, uh, you you won't hear me say this very often at all, but the Kia Telluride is easily worth $5,000 more than what the sticker price is, if you look at the competition. Uh, just just amazing SUV and everything in the world on it. Two well, now, the, the Kia uh, is a low-priced vehicle, is it not, or am I think, thinking wrong uh, here? It, yeah, it, typically it is, but this one is, this one, this stacks up to Lexus and Cadillac and Mercedes, as far as interior quality and amenities, and it's a good-looking vehicle on the outside as well. Uh, got big, meaty tires, you know, uh, beautiful paint job, color, but the interior. Yeah, and just, I love those black wheels. I do too. The interior is just mind-boggling. It's so nice. Uh, I, I, I'm really, I'm really shocked about this vehicle. Uh, roomy third-row seat, which is hard to find these days. Uh, Drives and rides great. It's got a got a V6 under the hood, putting out close to 300 horses. It's got plenty of power. Uh, just a just a real enjoyable SUV. The price it, the price was the shocker for me. I, it, it, this thing, in any other brand, is mid fifty thousand dollar range, and and that, now I understand why people are frustrated because they can't buy one. They're selling as fast as they get to the lots. Yeah. Let, well, let me ask you this, and this this has to do with Kia. I, I just uh, have always wondered. Kia, as far as I could tell, has made uh, quality cars for less money. They've also uh, had great warranties that came with those cars. Why have they not been able to break into the market uh, the way that uh, other other people have? You know, I, I think part of it is perception, and, and they're slowly changing that. Uh, Kia and Hyundai both. Um, he, uh, Kia is actually owned by Hyundai. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I, th- I think it's changing pretty quickly. 
uh, Hyundai's got some very popular SUVs. Their Santa Fe, Santa Fe, is is in the top ten best selling SUVs in that segment. Uh, Kia's doing the same thing. Optima's doing much better. Um, and, and then this Telluride is going to be a game changer. I think this vehicle brings up the the perception of Kia as being a real mainstream. And they're building them here in the U.S. I mean, this thing was built in Georgia. So, you know, I've, I've had people say, well, they got cheap labor in Korea. Well, this one's built in Georgia. Well, no, Jerry, well what, South what Korea is not cheap labor either, yeah. I wouldn't think. What, what about the quality of this? Uh, I mean, is it, does it compare with with uh, the Toyota quality or, or, or what? Where, where does it stand you know, on that scale? That's a great question. Long term, on this particular vehicle, we don't know. Um, but I, I would tell you initial quality. What the vehicle that I'm driving right now, I'd put it up against anything. Uh, it's flawless. This thing is, just, and it's got, this one's got 4,500 miles on it. So if there are any glaring issues, I'd be able to see them, and I'm not seeing them. You know, will most of your Toyotas will do 200,000 miles or more these days if you maintain them properly. Will Kia? I'm not sure I'm ready to go that far. But for a lesser price than to get, an easy 150,000 miles out of a, of a car, uh, the math really does work if you take a look. Hey, and my uh, my 03 Toyota, uh, what do we have, a, uh, a Camry. we got an 03 Toyota Camry. It's got 275,000 miles, still runs great. There you go. So, yeah. What does that tell you? Yeah. It's amazing. Yes, it is. All right. Um, well, let's see. Let's, let's remind everybody that Jerry Reynolds uh, – is live on this show every uh, Saturday from 11 to 1 here on KFYO. Yeah, well, I wanted to ask uh, what you have going on at carprousa.com. Uh, well, one of the things is we're going to be on remote this Saturday with you guys at a oh, yeah, luxury I remember this. supercar showcase uh, put on by the Park Place dealerships in Dallas. $100 I, I just million dollars worth of wish I could be there. I do, too. You would love this show. Uh, this I would, is the third year. I'll, all might, money goes to charity. They might kick me out. They might call security the second I got drool on some of those cars. <laughs> yes, they might. Uh, I've got your 12 best plug-in electric vehicles. If there's anybody in the market for that, a rundown of Barrett-Jackson's Las Vegas auction next week is when it starts. And then uh, uh, some, some, a little bit of information about the end of the month and the end of the third quarter, which ends Monday. And for those who don't know, the, 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 anytime there's an end of a quarter, you can bet that that's when the incentives reach their height and, and all the manufacturers throw money at it. So if people are in the market for a car, between now and Monday, they're going to find the rebates and incentives to be extremely aggressive. And then we don't know what will happen for October. So I'm looking at your uh, 12 best electric vehicles for 2019. Are they in order, or is this just uh, picked randomly? Because they've got the Chevy Volt as the top one. Yeah, I think they are in order, actually. Um, and, and I can see, uh, you know, looking at that range, look what it compares to. Yeah. You know, 259 miles. Uh, it's right up there with the Tesla Model 3, which is... Uh, supposedly the leader, and it, it for a fraction of the cost. Yeah. Uh, Chevy Volt's been a great success for Chevrolet, uh, but it's you know the, the Volt with a V uh, is a hybrid version, a little bit bigger car, and they dropped it. it they're, it's yeah. going away. Right. So right. Matt, Matt, did you read the text? The text about the uh, te- we have a texture that says I own a, a 2007 Hyundai Entourage. Very sad they stopped making this minivan. 250,000 miles and runs great. Well, there you go. There, there you go. go. That's, a, that's a lot of miles. I've never owned a car to 250,000 miles. Wow. Anyway, is, is that about cover it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. All right. Uh, thanks again, Jerry. We'll talk to you next Thursday. All right, guys. Y'all have a good weekend. You too. All right. Now. Thanks, Jerry. Thanks.